Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Graham versus Scott. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Graham, you are here to prove to your on again, off again fiance, Mr. Scott, that your four year old daughter Taylor is his biological child. You say his paternity denial is destroying your relationship and you need today's results to save your family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Scott, you state that the timeline for conception does not add up, so you can't be Taylor's father. You say your engagement is on the line and you want the truth. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. So, Ms. Graham, you say you need today's results to save your relationship. Tell the court why. Um, basically, we're planning a wedding and we're getting in arguments every day about the paternity. He knows he's the father. He's new since. I've told him several times that he's the father and he still tries to deny it. And I just want this resolved today. Mr. Your Scott? Honor, I am not the father. Look at her nose. Look at her eyes. Look at her ears. I am not the father. Your Honor, I asked her for a test over and over again. I okay, keep but take me back. I, I, how did we get to the point where... Okay, will you marry me? Yes, I will. But we need a DNA test. I mean, how do we get... How do we get from being engaged and being happy, planning a wedding, because to all of a sudden this DNA thing looming over our because heads? Because I want to move on with it, but not if Taylor Rose is not my daughter. I don't so want to move on So, if with Taylor's not your biological child, you're not getting married? Hell no. Excuse me. Oh. That's news to you? That's definitely news to me. So, Ms. Graham, you admit this is an on-again, off-again relationship. Yes. When you're off, were there other men you were sleeping with? Yes, yes. Dating? No. Yes. I, me and him have had sex constantly unprotected through these times you where honor, we were not together. That so, is, even if you're on or if you're off, you're still having sex? We have sex. a very active sex life. Very active. What happened during this on-off thing that produced this paternity question? It was him. I know the night that I conceived. I definitely know the night I conceived. We, we went down to um, Orlando. We got a room. We had sex for about a week, nonstop. He knows exactly which weekend I'm talking about. You on it? It's, a it's like after I got pregnant... Like I said, he just flipped That's not the true, script. Your Honor. Were you engaged during then? Yeah, no, we got we were engaged before then. All right, so you were engaged before then? Yes. Once I told him I was pregnant, that's when the issues came up. But why if you gonna marry her anyway? Right. right. Your Honor, I found out that she was pregnant prior to her telling me. The reason how I found out was when I went back into the house, I was searching through paperwork, cleaning up, and when I cleaned up, I saw something from the doctor's office, well, and it said that she was, like, six weeks pregnant. Uh-huh. And we only been back together for, like, two weeks. So how is it okay. possible that Taylor Rose is my daughter? Okay, so now I understand what's happening. You all were on this on and off again thing. Yes. When you got back together, you at home, some mail comes, you see it on the table, you read it, and you see, oh, she's pregnant. Right. But six to seven weeks pregnant. Right. When you count back, you're saying we were off then and right. not having sex we then. We was way off then, Your Honor, way off. So when you saw it, what did you do with the information? I didn't say anything to her about the paperwork until she approached me about being pregnant. So what happened when you approached him, Ms. Graham? What did you say? I approached him because th this was like my first time being pregnant. I never... This is my first child. So, of course, I was a little scared. I didn't know what my options were. So after I told him, I'm expecting him to be excited. And he just, oh, that's not my child. Like, it was just like a big mess. The one person in the world who I was expecting to embrace this turned into my enemy. I had to do this completely alone. And I mean, like, no, no mother, no woman should have to do that. He completely left me, no support at all. He, he added so much stress to my pregnancy, so much unnecessary stress. That's not true, Your Honor. Did you break up during the pregnancy? We had... We just separated before the pregnancy. We got back together. We were always on and off again, so the timeline is a little sketchy, but we did break up several times, but the bottom line is we never stopped having sex throughout this entire thing. Your Honor, ask her this. If I'm the father... 
of Taylor Rose, why did I find that paperwork that says six weeks? Well, that is an issue that he's having, and I'd like to give you a chance to explain that, Ms. Graham. He says when he found the paperwork, he, fi- he found it before you even said anything to him. So, you obviously waited some time before you even told him you were pregnant. I did. And his point is, is if the hospital has informed you you're pregnant and we are engaged and going to be married, what reason would you have not to tell me if it is undoubtedly my child? I just wanted to have time. I had just graduated. I just wanted to have time for myself to see what my options were before I had him, you know, down my throat, do this, do this, do this. So once I did make the decision to keep the child, I brought it to him. You know, I was very afraid. Like, I, you know, like I said, I just had graduated. I'm just... My life is just beginning to take off. I did not know if I wanted to take on the stress or hardship of being a parent at that time. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Scott is saying that during the window of time when this baby would have been conceived, you all were on the out. Just because you were still having sex with him doesn't, of course, change the fact that you could have been having sex with somebody else. Was there someone else that you were dating or seeing? Not before, not before I was pregnant, no. But after you were pregnant, there was? Yes. So who were you with when you gave birth to Taylor? He came up to the hospital. He caused a dramatic scene. What happened at the hospital? He cursed me out. He said how he was never going to sign that birth certificate because my daughter wasn't a twin. He knew that the child was not his. I'm a cheating... At the hospital when you just had the baby? I just had my child. That's not 100% true. They had to, the security had to remove him. No, I, I left on my own, Your Honor. So, wait a minute, Mr. Scott. You went up, you looked at the baby and just got infuriated and enraged? I did, Your Basically. Honor. Basically. What I'm trying to understand is that were you there for the actual birth as, like, this is my child? So, you weren't. You came up there after. After, and I honestly feel like, even though he tried to deny this, I really feel like he came up there... She didn't even call and tell me that she was in the hospital and had the baby. I didn't want that stress. I had to find out from someone else. I did not want that stress. And I was right. What stress? I was right. He came up there and he did every single thing that I knew he was going to do, which is why I did not call him. I didn't tell him at all. You honest, she did call me and she said, you are not the father. That's her exact word. I did not know. When was this? She did on it. Did she you did. call him and tell him he's not the yes. father? No, that's not And that's why I came all. to the hospital angry. When did she call and tell you you were not the father? It might it might have been it might have been a day after she had Taylor, and that's the day that I went there that security supposedly escorted me off. Did you tell him, Miss Graham, he was not the father? No, not at all, Your Honor. She did, Your Honor. So when she told you you're not the father, you came up there anyway? Right. Why? She even told the people at the desk not to let me back if I was to come up there. Well, she's admitting to that because you said what? You didn't want the stress. Yes. So if that's my daughter, why can't I come to the hospital? Because you I am not the father, Your Honor. It's your testimony, Mr. Scott, that Ms. Graham has said to you in your face you are not the father. Yes. Plenty of times. Plenty of times? Yes, plenty of times. Do you have any evidence to show this? Any any evidence of your doubt? Yes. I was paying daycare. This one particular day, her mom could not pick up Taylor, so she called and said, hey, could you go get Taylor? And I was like, sure. So I goes and I get Taylor, and as I, I went to pay daycare that particular day, and the daycare lady was like, hold up, her dad already paid daycare for this week. Oh. And her I was dad? like, her dad... Miss Graham, who paid the daycare? First of all, he paid the daycare this one time that he's referring to. That's not true. There was, there was, as I told you, when I was pregnant, I did start seeing someone shortly, and he did pay the daycare several times. He came this one time when... This guy was introduced as Taylor's father to the daycare. The, the daycare provider didn't know who the father was. No, the whole point is, is who's the daddy that paid the daycare? Thank you, Your That's Honor. what I'm trying to understand. Who Thank is you, this Honor. person? When he does, it was, it's my ex. When he does not... So it is your ex? Yes. When he does not step up, he does come in and do things that I, I need. need. But wait, is there any possibility that this ex could be Taylor's biological father? Oh. Yes. 
See, she questioning herself. Look, why are you contradicting <laughs> yourself? I'm not contradicting. Do you know what contradicting? Well, you hesitated to answer the question. <laughs> I'm not contradicting myself at all. Miss Graham, is there any possibility? I mean, the fact that you're pregnant no. and you all of a sudden hook back up with an ex right after you get pregnant. I mean, it is very easy to believe that you could have hooked up with that ex before you got pregnant. And that small lapse in time could make a paternity question. I mean, if, if a woman is pregnant with your child and it's his child, you all get in an argument, you break up, and the next thing you know, you already off with an ex. I mean, that doesn't even... That doesn't seem like what a pregnant woman would do. How did this ex just reappear all of a sudden? He was because always there. He was not always there. We met. I was very stressed out. He reached out to me, and I did, you know, vent to him about a lot of stuff I was going on. Going through I'm, I'm with... I'm sorry, about a lot of stuff that was that going on. That was going on with Mr. Scott. Right. So he was kind of your shoulder to cry on, which led to... Right, and he was there, and he did stay there after the child was born. And, you know, he continued to help me with her when my fiancé did not. That's not true. So Taylor's four now. Do you want to know why this has been four years? Because he knows that this child is his, and he knows after today he will not have an excuse to just run out of the house whenever he wants you to. You honor. Twins run in my family. Taylor Rose is not a twin. Well, <laughs> every child born in a family that has twins won't be a twin. Well, I know my sister didn't have any twins. I know I would be the one to have twins. Taylor Rose is not my child. Where are you getting this information from, Mr. Scott? This is what I know. How do you know it? From my family history. I know. <laughs> oh, you have a family history that what? Every generation has a twin? Yes. Have you checked that against biology? <laughs> to be honest, I haven't. That would be a no. But I'm... I'm, I'm... <laughs> okay, it's all right. The fact that Taylor is not a twin does not preclude her from being your biological child. Well, Your Honor, Miss Lake, you are not going to make Taylor my child. My fiancé is not going to make Taylor my child. I want the test results. <laughs> <laughs> Bless your heart. Um... <laughs> you tried to get a little backbone. But let me tell you something. <laughs> um, the truth is, is you made this mess. So I'm not trying to make Taylor be yours. That serves me no purpose. What I'm trying to make sure is that you understand how you got here. Because that mess y'all made. Right. Her mess. I'm just here to help you all sort it so out. Childish. Because I'm gonna be honest with you, Ms. Graham, the timeline that you talk about with this one ex, it does concern me. The fact that this man so wholeheartedly steps up, pays daycare, stands in the gaps whenever Mr. Scott isn't around, up at the place her daddy already paid this. I mean, I've known some nice men in my life. I see nice men in this courtroom all the time. But that looks like a man that's trying to do something for a baby that he might think might be his. No, that's a man waiting for him to mess up so I could leave and get with him. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and that could be true, too. Well, he can have you. Don't do that. Oh, Lord, I'm Lord, not Lord. The end of the day, this is about Taylor. I have the results for you, and I want to give them to you because I want to figure out in a healthy way, in a positive way, where we go from here. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? Could I say something? <laughs> no. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as you follows. Are not the father. In the case of Graham versus Scott, when it comes to four year old Taylor Graham, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Scott, you are not the father. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> I already knew I wasn't. Jerome, can you go see if you can try to get Miss Graham? Stop. Could I speak with her for a moment? No, just get, let, let her have a minute. Let her have a minute. Yes, ma'am. You ain't got to get all silly. Yes, ma'am. If you know something in your heart and that's what you truly feel, you stand respectfully as a man, you just get the result. 
Miss Graham? Yes, Your Honor. So, obviously, the part of this story wasn't true. There were some details that were not. Mm. But in a way, Your Honor, I'm, from the bottom of my heart, happy that I really don't have to pull up with this foolishness. Your Honor, I still look at Taylor as my child, and I still want to be in her life, but not in Renata's life. You don't have to be, because you're not her biological father. And so, at this point, you need to reach out to the person you believe is. That's it. Is that your ex? Oh, please don't do that. Miss, Miss Graham, is that your ex? It is. Okay, so we could see that coming a mile away. And you need to reach out to him if he needs confirmation this court is here for you. But at this point, you need to figure out how you're gonna be the kind of woman you want Taylor to look up to. Right. Every step you take and every move you make, she's four years old. She's looking at what her mom does as an example of how she should live. And I know you don't want to see this baby in paternity court 20 years from now. Right. Repeating your mistakes. Right. So you have to do something about it. There's counseling and resources for you. I wish you all the best. Court is adjourned. Just-